Mouthpiece store strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll rat you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Oh, you're not even gonna hear me out? Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. Hey, buddy, why don't you stand around some more while I sneak out that door? Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. Why are you lying to me, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? What happened to those people was a goddamn shame. I'm saying nothing different. But you are not going to hang that on me. Barley, I can hand you over for extradition now, or you can give me something. What's it going to be? I'm giving it to you straight. I've told you all I know. So you're denying you worked on the house? No, I'm not. I'm saying that I don't remember every single detail of every place I worked. Where it is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principles. <laughs> How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There's no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting your time. <laughs> What'd I tell you? This is stupid. Now, when am I going to be able to get out of here? Last chance, Farley. You're already a wanted man. It won't be hard to hang a double arson on top of your murder beef. Hey, I shot a loan shark who was squeezing my brother for the big. That's why you ran? I ran because the guys who ran that racket will kill me. Farley, you're already wanted for murder. I'm investigating an arson. That's all I'm interested in. Just tell me the truth. I know, cops. You're trying to trick me into something. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Instaheat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire, huh? You're saying I'm some kind of psycho for hire? <laughs> It's not true. Give me something, Varley, or I'll put it all on you. Hey, look, I can try to pin this on one of the other guys, but I'd just be making something up. Somebody did, Varley. I bet Ryan and Clemens are happy pointing the finger at you. They can point all they like. I didn't do it. We're done for now. So what happens? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. Any ideas? Now Ryan's a confused kid. He might have something to get off his chest. Can you get off my case? I've told you what I know. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. Why are you lying to me, Varley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Suburban, yeah, they wanted that guy out. 
Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweet. I think he played him though, because he still wouldn't sell. Word is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principles. <laughs> How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There's no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting your time. Clement says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. I'll testify in court. Suburban, they got real time pressure on getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So yeah, I took their money, but so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. Ryan says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. I'll testify in court. Suburban, they got real time pressure on getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So yeah, I took their money, but so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Insta Heat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Huh? Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. We found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Whoa, hang on! Those things, they belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker was full of stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. Reginald Varley, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. I'm no cold-blooded criminal. I could never bring up a whole family in their home. How is it, no, just keep your mouth shut and listen to me for a second. How is it you can bring no less than three suspects into my station? conduct extensive interviews, sift through mountains of evidence with Lynch and Pinker, and still manage to charge the wrong fucking guy. I took a chance on you, Phelps. People said I was crazy, and you made me look like a jerk. You may not be much of an arson investigator, but I hear you're merciless on the beat. Get going. <laughs>